Joker. So Joker's directed by Todd Phillips, stars Joaquin Phoenix, I feel like we all know that by now. This was my number one anticipated movie of this entire year. Tried to go in with no expectations, but I'm a huge Joker fan. I can only do so much. And what this movie is, is the story of a man who just gets beat down in life and becomes the comic book villain Joker. And I've said it before, and I guess I'll say it here for people who haven't seen my videos talking about it. I was really skeptical about a standalone Joker movie. And then when Joaquin Phoenix came on, I was like, all right, he's picky with his scripts. I feel like he saw something special that he could bring to this. And after seeing Joker, yep, that is absolutely positively the case. I feel like I'm gonna talk a lot about Joaquin Phoenix in this review because the entire movie is from his perspective. I can't think of a scene in the movie that he's not in, like it's, it's his movie. Joaquin Phoenix carries this entire movie on his shoulders and never buckles under the weight of that. He thrives, he doesn't buckle and he thrives under the weight and pressure of portraying the most iconic comic book villain of all time. He's so good. I heard he researched mental illness, that disorder where you laugh when you're nervous. I didn't know that. And then I said something about his laugh and no, he's not emulating a laugh. He, he just uncontrollably laughs. And I need to stress this, this isn't a Joker movie. I mean, it's titled Joker, but if you're going into this movie being like, all right, we're gonna see the Joker wreck some shit. It's a bit more of a slow burn than that. You're getting a character movie. This, this movie should be called Arthur. Like I saw a comment in the comment section of one of my videos about this movie, one of the trailer videos, like, oh, I can't, I hope there's a lot of action or something like that. I was like, that is gonna be one disappointed person. It's not an action movie. And the journey of Arthur, it's not just like, oh, he's Arthur Fleck, he's just like dumpy kind of sad guy. And then one day he's the Joker. When he does don the makeup, and we saw that in the trailer, Otherwise I wouldn't really talk about it. Not gonna talk about it too much, but he does carry himself so differently. And it's so different from where he started. That it's one of those, it's just a series of subtle changes, a series, it is, it's true evolution. It's not one big leap. It's like change, 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 change. Well, wow, we're different than where we started. Shit, fuck, how did we get here? It's like the movie does such a good job at taking you on that journey and you buy the journey and it's undeniably a tragedy. Or is it a comedy? It's so grounded in reality. I almost like, is it a comic book movie? Graphic novel movie, sure. It's semantics at that point. And comic books have had some really deep character arcs. Absolutely, like this is that. Joker gives movie fans and moviegoers the ability to see what comic book fans have seen for years. And I'm glad. I'm glad this movie exists for that. We've hit the next level. And since this movie is 100% Arthur Fleck's movie, it is Joaquin Phoenix's movie. I feel like every other character is in the background. They're a support character of some sort. But one that stands out to me was De Niro. Like De Niro could have phoned it in and just gotten his paycheck. Be like, all right, I'm gonna be Robert De Niro. Just, I'm in two scenes in the movie. Let's just do it and go. But when De Niro comes out on his show and you know, the band's playing, the band's like, and like he points at the band like bam 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 all right we got a good show tonight like he acts absolutely like a talk show host it's for some reason de niro stands out in this movie as minimal as his role is and if you're one of those people that's like i don't want to see a joker origin story no don't give me that i really stress give this movie a shot the movie sits more nuanced it peels back the layers in a way where you walk away completely satisfied. It's like this movie, it answers the nearly 80 year old question. What made that guy snap? What made him such a monster? I know we've gotten Killing Joke, but this is so much more of a deep dive. I will say, yeah, sometimes the movie is uncomfortable, but that's because it feels so real. It doesn't feel like a comic book villain. You're not there watching, oh, hey, or Joker gonna get dipped in acid or even dipped in society. All right, he's gonna put on the makeup and then commit some crime. The entire time you're rooting for him to not snap like that. I didn't expect that as a Joker fan. I was like, all right, let's snap and get to the real shit. But you're actually pulling for him to not do that and you actually feel bad for him. So the fact that there are people out there who feel like this movie's uncomfortable, Good job, movie, for doing your job. In the end, there were a few things I wanted from Joker and Joker delivered on them. I thought Joaquin Phoenix was great. He carried this movie perfectly. Oscar nomination? I think so. I mean, it's kind of funny. It's like if you take on the Joker and do it well and bring your own thing to it, you could get an Oscar nomination out of it, which just shows, it shows why the Joker is so popular. Because he just, he has those layers that were just begging to be peeled back. This movie peeled them back perfectly. I only got one more thing to say about Joker, and that is Joker is awesome-tacular. Todd Phillips is ready to take on deeper themes, I guess. And there's so much more I want to talk about with Joker. I know this review's a bit vague. So spoiler talk, 
gonna happen this weekend. It has to. So keep an eye out for that. So since I'm gonna assume I'm not the last person on Earth to have seen Joker, I'm going to assume you have not seen Joker yet. I'll ask what other Batman villain origin story would you be cool with and who would you cast as them? Whoever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.